the Morning Lake School. Hi, my name is Cassandra, and my name is Joseph, and we are coming to you live from the Lake School, like Weather Studio. Today, we will be learning about weather you can expect from across the country. First, we need to learn more about what is weather. Just the state of the atmosphere at any time, including things such as temperature, fast air pressure, and cloud cover. Many weathers are dangerous. Did you know the moon makes the weather stay steady? If there was no moon, Earth would be too hot or too cold. Also, the sun, without the sun, there would be no weather. Earth is positioned as the third planet, so our temperatures are sustainable for life. The average temperature of Mars is much cooler while Venus is much hotter. Now to Kalina and Ryan with our first weather report from Elk Grove Village, Illinois, who are currently experiencing a severe thunderstorm. Thank you. We are Ryan and Kuhn and are coming to you from Elk Grove Village today. We the weather conditions are ready for a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm is a storm with lightning and thunder. It's produced by clouds, usually producing gusty winds, heavy rain, and sometimes hail. Here is what to expect if you live in this area. When a thunderstorm is near you, be a tailor, you should get in on your hands and knees and tuck your head and you won't get hurt. When lightning strikes, as the sun warms the earth's surface, the sun all year and are always warm. What should you do to stay safe? If you are outdoors, keep an eye at the sky. Look for darkening skies, flashes of lightning or increasing winds. If you hear a sound of thunder, go in a safe place immediately. The best place to go is in a sturdy building or a car, but make sure the windows in the car are shut. If you are indoors, avoid water. It's a great conducer of electricity, so do not take a shower or wash your hands. Wash dishes or do laundry. Do not use a corded telephone. If someone is struck by lightning, call for help. Call 911 or send for help immediately. The injured person does not carry an electrical charge, charge, so it's okay to touch them. And now we go to Michael and Christian in Kansas to learn about their weather. Thank you. We are Christian and Michael, and we are coming to you from Kansas today where weather conditions are ready for a tornado. A tornado is a rotating column of air raging in with from a few yards to more than a mile and rolling at destructively high speeds, usually accompanied by a funnel-shaped downward extinction of a cloud. Here's what to expect if you live in Kansas. Hail, rain, rain, and destruction. What should we do to stay safe? Make sure everyone knows where to go in case if there is a tornado. When there is a tornado, make sure you stay with, level with the ground. Tornadoes can appear as a traditional photo shape or in a slender rope. And now we go to Sidra, Florida, in Florida to learn about their weather. My name is Kim, and I'm reporting to you live from Kansas where I'm out in front of Jewel experiencing a tornado. This tornado looks to be like a big storm, but first of all, what is a tornado? A tornado is a violent rotating column of air extending from a thunderstorm. The strongest tornado can go up to 300 miles per hour. Right now, I see trees falling down, leaves blowing, everybody should be inside their basement. Reporting to you live. From Kansas, my name is Kim, back to you in the WLNK Weather Center.
Thank you. I am Sandra, and I'm coming to you from Florida today, where weather conditions are ready for a hurricane. A hurricane is a huge storm. It can be up to 600 miles across and have strong winds spiraling inward and upward. Hurricanes can last up to a week. Here's what you expect if you live in Florida. When a hurricane comes, it would look stormy outside. Storm centers are deadly when a hurricane comes. Look out for them. Hurricanes call extreme flooding. When a hurricane arrives, board up windows and doors. Save as much water as possible. Have a hurricane survival kit at hand during the hurricane. If a hurricane is in your area, be careful. What should you do to stay safe? Have disaster plan and pet plan ready. Get out, in outside objects that can blow away. In a a first aid kit, canned food, a can opener, bottled water, battery operated radio, flashlight, protective clothing, and written instruction on how to turn off electricity, gas, and water. More facts about hurricanes. Number one, many hurricanes cause severe flooding. Number two, cold water of North America's west coast prevents hurricanes from survival there. And now we get a Miranda and Anthony in Alaska to learn about their weather. Thank you. We are Anthony and Miranda and we're coming to you from Alaska today where weather conditions are ready for a blizzard. A blizzard is a long, lasting snowstorm with very strong winds and, and, and intense snowfalls. Here's what to expect if you live in Alaska. You will face very windy weather and a lot of snow. It will be very cold and wet and slippery. What should you do to stay safe? Stay inside, get warm clothes, and eat normal because the food provides your own body with some energy for producing its heat. Also, drink plenty of water. If you want to go outside, wear layered clothes, mittens, and also a hat. Look out for signs of hypothermia and, and frostbites. Also, always change wet clothes to prevent the loss of body heat. Winter storms derive their energy from the clash of two air masses of different temperatures and moisture levels. And now we go to Diego in Arizona to learn about the weather. Thank you. I'm Diego and I'm coming to you from Arizona. Today the weather conditions are ready for a heat advisory. Heat advisor is extreme heat and is a combination of air temperature and humidity that gives a description of how the temperature feels outside. We are expecting really hot weather with high temperatures over 120 degrees. The air might feel a little, a little thick and on the streets there will be burning concrete. What should you do to stay safe? Strongest activity should be reduced a little day eliminated or was scheduled to the coolest time of day. Dress in lightweight, colored clothing that reflects heat and sunlight and helps your body maintain normal temperatures. Eat small frequent meals, avoid high protein foods, drink plenty of water or other non-alcohol fluids. Slow down on hot day, don't perform strong section with these. Check dress for summer, put on sunscreen, and hold an umbrella on top of your head. And now back to you, Jane Cassidy at the Little Brother Studio. Thank you for all those great weather reports. I hope you have learned something about weather and how to stay safe in different weather conditions. Thank you for tuning into WLK Weather Center. Have a wacky weather Wednesday!